Long Beach currently has 139 miles of bike paths. There's an 8 to 80 strategy, meaning all people from 8 to 80 years old will feel comfortable using all the paths. The city's new Bike Master Plan adds hundreds of miles of bike paths in the coming years. The goal is for Long Beach to become the most bicycle-friendly city in the country. Which helps create access for everyone. New bike shops are popping up everywhere. We visited city grounds in the East Village and spoke to Marlon about what they offer. Helping people out and fixing flats and... Yeah, I, saw you, I yeah. just saw you fix a flat, yeah. really nice. Just Sorry. trying to get customers back on the road and, uh, you know, not get hurt. Do you find there's a lot more people coming in for service because of all the bike lanes here in, yeah. Uh, yeah. Services, in the city? Services, um, just for stopping by just to look at products, what we have. Uh -huh. Okay, so single speed. Yes. And what was the second thing? Uh, single speed and track. So just like all these right here, all these are all single speed and track. This one's track specifically, so this one's fully fixed. So uh -huh. you get to go backwards and stuff, but it does come on brakes like this one too. There's other ones, like this one, and the free wheel stuff. It's a single speed. But it's just only on one gear. It's oh, like you're riding a road back, road bike, but it's only just staying on one gear. Right, not right. Really doing anything else but focusing on brakes and stuff. Uh -huh. What fixed gear feels uh -huh. like is remember when you rode a tricycle with the you pedal in the front wheel? Yes. It's the same exact thing when you can go uh -huh. backwards and go a little forward. Yeah. Right, it's that same feeling. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That sounds cool. Okay. Yeah, one of the first bikes that was invented was. By Albert Einstein, you know, oh, the actual fix here. Right. Yeah, that big so, front wheel bike. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Next, we went to the bicycle stand on Broadway, which is located in a cool 1923 firehouse building. They specialize in repairing and restoring vintage bicycles. Their staff is really knowledgeable and can help you out with any biking questions you might have. Don't mind me. Okay. This is doing something really interesting, so I just wanted to film it. <laughs> And make you a star. <laughs> what are you doing? I have to run an in-break cable here. Oh. But it's all like it goes inside the handlebars. Oh wow. You can't find where it goes. Oh it's hard to yeah, you push it in and it just comes out. Oh wow. In 2006, Two friends that loved vintage bikes started a group called the Cyclone Coasters. They meet the first Sunday of every month at Profolio Coffee House on Retro Row. It draws vintage bike riders from all over Southern California. This meetup is a fun social event where vintage enthusiasts can exchange information and show off their new rides. The founders, Drew and Bernard, are committed to an informal and friendly event, open to anyone interested in joining.
After they finished gathering at Portfolio, they took off for the first leg of their ride. Going down Juan Aparo Avenue, towards the ocean, and ending up at Bixby Park. This once a month ride draws between 150 to 200 vintage bike lovers. They gather there to use the band shell, which is a great place for their announcements and upcoming events. said goodbye to the Cyclone Coasters as they rode away down First Street on the final ride to Belmont Shore. Such a cool free event and a great way to meet the locals. Hi, we're Alice and Steve from Our Urban Adventure. Thank you for watching the show. For more information about our show and Long Beach, go onto our website, oururbanadventure.com. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.